Hey guys, hey, I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit for you on the skate box while it's open right now. So, I'm down in the escape box. So, this will be full of sand. And inside here, there's a little nipple. So the way it works is if you have to get out through your escape box, you come up the ladder through the escape tunnel, you take off that six inch nipple that will be over your head, nothing will fall down, but you gotta poke a hole in it. It's like poking a hole in a, sand, uh, a bag of sand. You poke a hole in it, all the sand will drain out of here like an hourglass. Then there's a lid in here. You take off eight bolts, you take them off, the lid will lower down, it's a safety chain on it. You climb up through this ladder here. When you get up to about here, you're gonna have about 10 to 12 inches of sand above you. You poke a hole above you, which you would be down here like this. You poke a hole, the sand's gonna kind of cave in on you, but keep in mind, it's an emergency escape. And then you can come out, and if there's a bad guy over there on your hat that's trying to get you, you shoot the sun bench. And that's really the main thing an escape hatch is for. I'm not worried about a tree falling on my escape hatch. That thing with a hydraulic jack will lift 16,000 pounds. So if you park a truck on there that only weighs 3,000 pounds, you can't hold that hatch down. It's too strong. But people trying to get at you during a civil war is why I designed the escape hatch like I did for Atlas Survival Shelters. Box is one foot below grade level. So right now, they're just getting it basically to the height of the escape box. Then we're gonna come back and add more dirt. We're gonna hump it up because it's eventually gonna settle. They cut it down. Now the lid is open to it. So you can see down inside the bunker right now. All right, so they're gonna close the lid up. They're gonna put the, they're gonna put the plastic cap back in there. They're gonna line this box with plastic, okay? They're gonna fill it with that playground sand. Then they're gonna put plastic on top of it and they're gonna duct tape it all the way around and have it humped over, okay? And then there'll be a foot of sand on top of this. That is your finished grade of earth, okay? But that is the uh, escape tunnel from the Atlas Survival Shelters. Pretty cool, huh? So this is what the escape box looks like before we fill it with plastic and the sand. So you can see, they'll pull out the plastic thing, the sand will drain down, they'll open up the lid, okay? There's eight bolts in there, you take it down, uh, then you crawl out and there'll be plastic right here and then there'll be sand above this so it's easy to dig out. And you can usually get out of one of these things in about five minutes. But that's the escape box before we put the plastic and sand in it. So, to tape down the plastic, he's going to use that three inch wide heavy duty black duct tape. Go ahead and do it. Okay. All right. So now he's got the plastic down there and it's taped in. So when they open the plastic thing, the sand won't spill down on you. You're going to have to poke a hole through that. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this thing with sand. All right, we got the sand ready right there. The sand that we filtered out the other day, we've already gone through all this. If you see something in there, let's pull it out. I see something blue. We don't want that in there. Okay. All righty. It's about halfway full now. It's getting there. Gotta get some more from that pile. Hold on. Ah. That's it. That looks good. Got the skid steer free now, so now make it a little easier. So going through the sand with a trial, make sure there's nothing hard in there. It's all pure sand. Yeah, just throw it out. If anything is clumpy, just throw it out. Yeah, pure sand. No rocks. There you go. Not every job has sand. Matter of fact, hardly any jobs have sand like this. So 
you have to go to the Home Depot or the Lowe's and you gotta buy you enough bags of playground sand bring them out here and just keep opening them up one at a time to usually like 100 pound bags 50 pound bags until you're full and that's how we normally do it but today we have a big pile of sand and an excavator to play in it It's a lot easier. Right. Why don't we think of this? Oh, no. You know why? Because I'm not used to having sand on a job site. You know? Right. Keep going that left side. It looks better over there. It's pretty. All right, tap it all the way down until it kind of forms a hump over the middle. That way it has natural drainage. And keep in mind, it could, it, could, uh, it could compact a little bit. So if it flattens out, you don't want the visqueen or the plastic over it to hold any water. So you want it humped up, get a hump in the middle. Okay, all right, now you see it's kind of humped up there. All right, now we're gonna cling out around the sides and we're gonna wrap it in plastic and duct tape it on. Pile and make sure You've got about at least eight inches around the sides because you're going to wrap this in plastic and you're going to duct tape it to the side of the box. And that's basically you're putting an umbrella on it. You can use a shovel or a spade, whatever you want. In this case, we're using a little digging trial. Okay, there we go. Well, that looks very good. All right, so we got about, oh, eight to 10 inches around the box all the way. Now we're gonna wrap it in plastic and duct tape it on. All right, get the plastic over there. So the wind's blowing, so start on one side, double it, so it's double the thickness, put it on square, run duct tape on one side, then have your razor so you can trim it off around the edges and just wrap it and duct tape it all the way around. Use a razor and cut around it like you're wrapping Christmas presents. Get a couple pieces of temporary tape to hold it down, and then you'll wrap it all the way around. All right, so now you need to start up over here, go around the edge, come up around the front corner. There you go. Duct tape it good with this wide black duct tape. That's a three inch wide, not a inch and a half like normal duct tape. That's a, I don't know what brand that is. I think that's Gorilla. Gorilla. Yeah, it's Gorilla, but it's three inches wide. It works really good. And it holds on to this metal too. Do another one on this side. Uh, okay, you good on this side? Do another one on this side. Yeah. Yeah, just what the hell? It ain't gonna hurt none. Get that plastic down. There you go. Okay, all right. Now do one over the middle and make an X, like a bullseye target. Do one from six o'clock to 12 o'clock and one from three o'clock to nine o'clock. Just to strengthen it. Further, go down further. Go down about eight inches. About right there, that's good, okay. Okay, 
Then I'll do it the other way. Now rip off some about eight inch long strips and reinforce the corners. Put it over the corners, okay? No, on the top side, right here, no, up. Oh. Right there, right there, there you go. Okay. Is that a gunshot? Deer season. Yeah, it is deer season. Open the neck. All right, so now we just reinforce the corners right there. All right, do all four corners like that. We don't put too much tape because he's got to be able to get out of it, okay? And guys, so this video is a proper way to put in an escape box, fill it with sand and cover it with plastic. Now it's gonna have a foot of sand over it and that will be ground level. So remember, when they come through it, they're gonna have to poke a hole through that and he'll be able to rip that duct tape if he has to. And um, let the sand pour in and then get out of there. There you go, voila. All right, your first escape box, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. But that's how we do it. Now we'll go inside and look at it from the inside. All right. We're just getting rid of the last of the rock. We'll put rock around the box so it has natural filtration, okay? Right. So put it over there and then we'll move it out by hand, okay? Just don't drop it through the plastic and break the plastic. Sorry. Just don't let it punch a hole through the plastic. Yes, sir. Whoa, stop. So you can watch the video. Now we'll put sand on top of it. That's right here. Keep the rocks off the top. Then after that, you're gonna put your layer, soft layer of sand by hand from behind you, okay, to shield that plastic. Now that plastic's two layers thick, okay? We doubled it up.
Try not to drive over it when you're uh, spreading your dirt out, okay? Too much. All right. Now we need to get that sand off that pile. We need to get it uh, a foot layer on top of it. Well, we got it marked by that right there. I know it's six feet to the to the uh, southwest of the of the poles. So the earth should be a foot above that when we're done. Y'all just keep going. You can kind of square it off. Yeah, so if you ever, have, keep mind. So if he has to dig out, that's what's gonna cave in on his head right there. So don't put any rocks in there. You don't want rocks falling on his head, okay? So make sure you get any rocks out that could hurt him. Um, there's a little one right there, right here. Is that clay or is that rock? It's clay. All right, just take it out anyway. Okay, all right, do a little more around the edges, make it a little bigger. Better too much than not enough. Now we can put something on top of the sand, like a, a orange cone or a bucket or something, and that will mark it, okay? And we'll just stay away from it, all right? Until it settles. I want you to put your hat on top of it. <laughs> I know you love that hat. All right. All righty, so now just mark the crown of it with something. Get uh, that white bucket over there. That way we don't run over the bucket. Just put it right on the middle. All right, there's your escape, okay? Now we'll work around that. We wanna get up to that grade. The bottom of that bucket is where we need to get all this dirt, if not higher, so when it settles, it will uh, come back down, all right? You can put more sand on top of that, we just don't, but that's where we want it to settle out to. tell the bucket <clears throat> set the grade of the earth but it will it will shrink it will compact so it needs to come up a little higher but there's our escape still back in the bunker here and this is the escape tunnel so that is what you would see when you look into it you crawl in there and there's a ladder that goes up to the surface so let's crawl in there and take a look up. Crawling through here, 
you want a light. And then you come in here and you have that. So what you're gonna do is you will unscrew that, poke a hole through it, let all the sand pour out, undo the eight bolts, let the lid come down, and then crawl through it and dig through the sand and get to the surface. Now we just put this one in, we gotta come in and touch up, paint it around those edges there. But uh, that's how the escape tunnel works. <laughs>